All right, everybody, into the next video. If you want to see stuff about Volpira, I have another video going over that. This is going to be the Mecha Gnome video, so stay tuned if you are curious on that. We're going through and making a character class trial 110 so we can get a lot of the abilities, check out the casting, all that stuff. So let's freaking do this. First up, what classes can you be? Warrior, no paladin, hunter, rogue, priest, no shaman, sad face, mage, warlock, monk, all right, no druid, like, again, like I said, with the Volpira, a little bit sad, you can't be a druid, when you do druids, uh, into a certain race, they obviously get, uh, very specific racial druid forms, uh, like we've seen with High Mountain, like we've seen with, uh, Zandalari Troll, a little bit of sad face, a little bit of sad face, but it's okay, but this is the Mecha Gnome, they're on the alliance, let's go ahead and check it out, holy crap, he is so cyborg, there will be, Terminator memes with this. Wow. Okay, so this is the Mechanomes. They're on the Alliance. Wow. The, he is so mechanized. All right, let's go ahead and let's just jump right into it. All right, All right now we're back to it. We're being a warrior. We're going to see what, the, what those animations look like. Okay, you have a lot of customization here, clearly because you are a mechanized creature. Skin color. Okay, these are probably pretty standard options. Probably everything that's there for gnomes. Okay, for this, you just have face... Okay, I mean, everything's under my helmet. Hairstyle, okay, hairstyle means, oh, literally the hair. Okay, so I'm, I don't know if these are similar to gnomes or they're different. Let me know in the comments below, guys. I don't have a gnome, though I could check it out. Let's go ahead and go with no hair. Though this hair, these, the different options here are pretty rad. I like this one, to be honest. We'll stick with that. We'll go dark hair. Facial hair, you know, you know, you can get anything. Anything. This is hipster ask let's do it modification oh okay so this is like oh this is whole your whole setup i look i look pretty brainy oh wow just the ears yikes just the ears again all right i like the full head setup i do like that a lot oh shit just the face and the jaw that's actually looking pretty clean because you could get clipping here that's pretty clean especially with the beard and all that looks pretty good that's really cool. I will go for this. I like the blinking with the blue eyes. That's really cool. All right, arm modification. All right, let's see what we got here. It looks a little rusted, but that's pretty cool. These are both the arms, though. Okay, so it's both arms. You can't just have one cyborg arm. I thought I, I actually expected that you could be. I like claws. I'm into claws, so let's do it. Legs. Oh, the legs don't zoom you out. But if you see, they're, they are changing legs. Okay, only two leg options. Armored or not. We're going janky. Let's go. All right. And just again, in case you guys don't know, you can get out of the starting areas for the kind of the walkthrough of the tutorial by just using your hearthstone. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Oh, but we do have this beautiful mount. Mecha gone. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. This is the mecha gnome mount for the race. That's actually a fancy ass. Okay. Your hands aren't on the wheels. Your claws aren't. A little bummer there to me for the, my immersion, but to be honest, and otherwise, it's, it feels pretty cool. It feels pretty futuristic-y. feels like I should be in an Overwatch spaceship. Alrighty, so we're here. We'll just go ahead and we'll just hit a few things. I mean, I was thinking that the melee animations would actually be exactly the same as a gnome, but it is actually different. I mean, it, I mean the fact that you're holding onto this weapon with claws is actually believable. I actually didn't think it was going to look so clean, but it does. It actually does. That's pretty cool, actually. I thought it was just going to be like, oh, you're just swinging your weapon. No, you're legit gripping that thing. Two-handed. That is pretty cool. And your gears are, are acting to your movements. Like, you can see your knees there. Independent of the other motions. That's actually really cool. We're going to take off the helmet so we can see my head. I can see my eyes in there. Dude, that's actually really cool. I thought they were going to be, like, kind of like feel a little bit more basic, but it actually feels pretty legit. Especially, I think you're going to see a lot of people hiding their helmets because I already got a helmet on, baby. The eyes are really cool because they're so huge. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I just want to know what happened to these poor guys. I mean, like, they got the sockets in their legs and in their arms. I mean, they're... Ch Why aren't they fully mecha? Like... You know, mecha set up. But anyway, but yeah, so that's that. The animations are, I mean, they're pretty much the same, but they are clean. Like, you can see, like, the hand is open. Like, if I use, you know, certain buttons, you'll see, like, the handle come off, and it'll be open, an open gripper and closing. It is pretty clean. I like it. I do. So, that's really cool. We got some B-mounts flying around. I'm very jealous. 
Anyway, guys, let's jump into the racials. With the racials, we're just going to kind of go through it. Okay. We got number one, hyper organic light originator. Three minute cooldown. Summon. Okay. Duplicate. Okay. Summon an organic light duplicates to distract your foes. Oh, shit. Terminate it. Get him. Oh, so I basically have mirror images, so you don't know which one's me. Well, you, you, you kind of do, maybe. And maybe it's just like, uh, I'm not sure what it'll be useful for. PvE, PvP. Probably PvE. That's pretty cool. All right. Skeleton pinky? Allow opening a locked chest and doors that require... Oh, I see. Like using your pinky or something. That's pretty cool. All right. Armor, no big deal. I just know. Com combat analysis. You gather and analyze combat data every five seconds, increasing your primary stat by 12. Stacking up to eight times, the data decays when out of combat. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's pretty cool. Just combat analysis. That's giving you a primary stat. That's actually could be pretty significant depending on the amount. That's Some classes really do ramp off that, so that's pretty rad. Okay. Uh, racial passive. You function as a personal black <laughs> blacksmith's anvil and a cooking fire and a mining forge. In addition, your limbs include every profession tool. That's really cool. I don't think that's completed yet, but that's really cool. Okay, so the next one, rearm. When you fall below 20% health, heal for 20% of your max health. What? That's insane. Uh, this effect can only occur once every 1.5 minutes. Wow, that is crazy. That's really nice. Wait, so when you... Oh, wow, you just instantly heal. This is like the shaman ability on Nature Swiftness. No, 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 not Nature Swiftness. I totally forgot what it's called. Let me know in the comments how dumb I am for forgetting my main uh, class's ability. But this is uh, like basically you instantly get that health back. There's no overtime, nothing like that. That's really nice. That's really nice. Um, that might be really strong in classes like Mage or something where getting that low is that is like super scary anyway. This could also double with Safeguard. That actually seems pretty strong for PvP. Wow. And also could save you in PvE. 20% of your max health. That, In other words, when you go down to 20, you go up to 40. So, okay. That's pretty cool. And that's about it. Okay. That seems like a little bit of a short list compared to Volpira. I will definitely put the Volpira video in link in the description and up, up on the screen if I can. But, uh... But that's it. Guys, let me know if I missed anything. This is, it's pretty cool. Both sides are pretty rad. Uh, I do like it. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know how I totally feel about the whole allied race thing going so far now that there's going to be about like what? There's like eight. But uh, let me know what you guys think of allied races in general. And what do you think about these mechanomes? He's pretty freaking cool, dude. He's pretty freaking cool. Guys, we'll see you in the next one. See you on Twitch, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. 